welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it's been a while, but I'm back with a new makeup tutorial. Um, today, I'll be showing you my daily makeup routine. It's not super interesting, but it's what I wear every day, so I hope you guys enjoy watching. We're going to start out with my favorite moisturizer by Clinique. I still don't know how to focus properly, but this is the one. Next up is my favorite combo of all time. It's the Flawless Filter Foundation by Charlotte Tilbury along with Wonder Glow, also by Charlotte Tilbury. I know it's probably meant for like certain spots in your face, but I just like applying it everywhere. Since I was 17, I've been geeking on that water. I watch I know what you're thinking. I know you're thinking this shade is way too dark for my face, but once I blend it with the Wonder Glow, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna get a whole lot lighter, but you'll see. Also, to blend, I'll be using the NYX foundation blending brush. Conceal and contour, I'll be using the Overachiever, Conceal oh. <laughs> Overachiever Concealers by Huda Beauty. And I know it's a concealer, but I like to use it to contour, so. So I absolutely suck when it comes to the nose contour, because I always think that it's easy, and then once I try it, I end up regretting it. Same with eyeliner. It's just a thing. But <laughs> I'll give it a try just to look more interesting. I'll be using the Huda Beauty brush and I'll just apply a tiny bit. See, so it looks fine like that, but once I try blending it, it just all right everyone it's time it's a moment of truth let's see how this goes i am holding my breath right now that's how bad this is So I generally hope it doesn't look as bad on camera as it does in the mirror right now. But um, anyway, next. So I'll be using the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wend Easy Highlighter. Touche de Declat Facile Declat. It's in French. I wish I spoke French. Powder time. So this is the Fenty Beauty powder by my mom, Rihanna, and um, it's my favorite. Even though I never really know how to apply powder, powder. <laughs> to apply the powder, I'm gonna use the flat brush by Iconic London. When it comes to my eyebrows, I just like using any black eyeshadow, but I usually use the Jean Michel. Sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, Jean Michel, but it's the Urban Decay eyeshadow. It has a lot of pigment, and I mean, you guys can guess which color I'm going to use. Exactly the green one. I'm not funny. So this is my absolute favorite bronzer in the whole entire universe. It's the True Bronzer by Clinique in number three, Sun Blushed. This is what it looks like. This is what I'm going to apply it with. A brush nearly as big as my whole head. Like 
blush I'm going to use is by NYX and I usually mix these two colors depending on the look I want to go for. I look alive. I look like there's blood stream in my body. That's crazy. So all y'all know how I mentioned I don't like using powdered highlighters. I partly lied because I'm going to use one now, but when I do use it, I use the one by Charlotte Tilbury. It's called Bar of Gold Palette, and I'm going to use this one to highlight the tip of my nose, and then these two mixed to highlight my cheeks. Last but not least, mascara. This is the High Impact Lash Elevating Mascara by Clinique. And it is by far the most waterproof mascara I have ever tried on. That's why I love it so much. I've literally been through hell. I'm back, and I'm back again, and I'm back again wearing this and it just wouldn't come off. So, highly recommend this mascara. You know, I'm trying really hard not to open my mouth right now because I automatically open my mouth when I'm applying mascara, but it looks absolutely ridiculous. I don't really apply anything on my lips, but they're dry as hell, so <laughs> I'm just gonna moisturize them a little bit. Carmex. So this is the end result and wait let me just pose for you guys a little bit very natural feels very light on my face you know it's the type of makeup look that you could convince a man that you're not wearing makeup but you are anyway I hope you guys had a great time watching my video and hopefully I'll be back soon thank you for watching